Hey, thanks for clicking on our video where we're going to show you how to recess metal table legs and attach them using threaded inserts. It's an excellent way just to up your game and provide a nice finish. Yeah, we'll go over a template that you can use to recess metal legs. Of course, there's a little bit of hardware involved in this and here are the thread inserts. We'll get into all this uh, during the video. All right, thanks for watching. Welcome to the den. My name's Troy, and today we're gonna to be attaching metal legs to this coffee table. What we're gonna do before we get to attaching these legs, because we're not gonna be using screws, we're gonna be bolting these things on, uh, but using threaded inserts, we wanna make L-shaped recesses for these table legs. What we're gonna be using for this is our plunge router, and also a template that we made, we'll show you a little better close up here and after we get things set up. And that's just gonna basically slide on that table just right on the corner, we're gonna clamp it on and we're gonna make our recesses. If you wanna learn how to make one of these jigs, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple and we lay it out for you step by step. I'll queue up the tabletop playlist so you guys can go and check out the jig further. Also included in that is how we came to this stage with this tabletop. Let's get to the point where we can attach these legs. <laughs> Everything's covered in dust. We're also going to be using, which is like critical for this step, and that is router template guides or router bushings. I don't know, these things have so many different names. If you're doing any kind of template routing, you need these. Basically, it's just uh, it's threaded on this side, so you pop that in. Take one of your collars and from the underside, we'll just thread the collar on. But you're gonna to wanna to do that before you slip it on cause, well, you'll see. As far as hardware or anything in this video, uh, we put links in the description should you wanna go back and, you know, investigate a little bit further and build one of these tables yourself. Now, I realize that there's tons of different ways to set your bit depth. Uh, this is how we decided to do it. Uh, feel free to just throw it down in the comments how you guys set your bit depth on your router. And for us, as long as we're getting close, I'm pretty happy because we're gonna do a couple test cuts here, just off camera, just to make sure that we got that recessed just where we want it, nice and flush. Looks good. Yeah, attaching this jig, like I said before, is just two clamps and you're pretty much ready to go. We got our half inch spiral bit in and we can start. Every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, I should probably hook that up to some dust collection. Maybe next time. For now, I just wanna make cuts. Yeah, this template just makes things just so much easier and repeatable. We can just go ahead and clean out a table in probably five minutes maybe I think it was seven minutes and I was moving everything around and we we're also filming so you got a you get a perfect recess every time and that's what we're after I'm trying to move through this and capture everything and try and put as many tips in here as possible. And if I miss anything, go ahead and put your questions in the comments. I'll get to every single one of them. Thank you for watching this far. Consider subscribing if you want some more uh, in-depth on how to do some of these projects, a uh, small build, I guess you might call them, out of reclaimed wood. Our channel is all about salvaging, sourcing, reclaiming, all beautiful barn wood. All right, hardware. We're gonna spend a little bit of time on this because it is important. There's there's so much to say about it. Uh, there's not a whole lot that you need. It looks like a lot there, but it really isn't. Uh, I got two choices here. I got Rampa. Uh, we use those for different builds, uh, and this is your Amazon bestseller. Uh, generally for tables, we use the Amazon bestsellers. They're a little bit cheaper, and man, they do a great job. 
And those that are really picky, uh, countersink bit will just clean up any chip out that there might be from drilling out these threaded inserts. Those furniture bolts that you just saw, they're button head and they work really, really well. I'm not sure why I focus in on that 516. Oh, I remember because it's for the Amazon uh, best sellers. That's, that's, the, that's the whole size. A lot of people don't even tell you that. We'll get to this here a little later, but this is how we uh, lock in our thread inserts and the thread lock, the blue thread lock is something that we'll explain like right at the end because it's, it's an optional step. Our drill will be used. I guess I didn't mention there those stops. Uh, yeah, you'll see everything play it all out. Half inch spiral bit and on, as you saw before, how we put that brass uh, threaded insert template guide bushing like I don't know they could have just settled on one name but yeah so that's the hardware that you're gonna need so actually using this hardware this is what I do just to make sure that my depth is correct I'm setting that on the drill bit and that just makes sure that we're the same every single time uh, you can use tape a lot of guys use tape we have these we use them I love them I just don't want to blast through the other side of the table I just don't want to think, I just want to drill the holes. And But before we drill the holes, we're going to have to mark them. And I'm using that brad point bit that you saw just earlier. It just gets dead center in the hole. Now really, you can see how that moved a little bit, uh, the leg. You want to really take your time there and make sure that your holes are perfect. Uh, there will be a little bit of wiggle room. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute, but get it as exact as possible. Maybe you pull out your square, I don't know, just make sure that everything's A-OK -okay before drilling these holes. And you can see how fast it is with that stop. It's just drill it down until it stops. And right there, I never really did put a close up for this, but it's just clean out some of that chip away that you might have from drilling the holes. So of course, test fit everything, make sure it's gonna work out because we're gonna be cementing her in. Well, I say cementing it in, but it's really using it quick set epoxy and this set uh, it sets in five minutes or less you guys anyway so I get some in the hole and I get a little bit on the thread insert and I put it in now your goal here is to not have any squeeze out on these things but I'll show you that in a minute too uh, you can see this this is a, a piece of fur that we're screwing into right now and it's a hard piece of wood like this is well over 100 years old so when I feel any like resistance I just back it off and then I start threading it in again I mean you just gotta think about it into a hole you're actually making threads so that's how we do it uh, definitely I don't recommend using uh, an impact you see lots of guys doing that but why you've gone this far why would you ever want a chance just maybe cracking that wood or putting it in sideways uh, I just go by hand I'll continue going by hand because I know that it works really well these thread inserts have well the advantages are immense like you can take this down move set it back up you're good to go yeah not only that uh, they're so easy to use uh, once the threads are there I mean you're not gonna strip the threads and you get away from actually screwing right into the table it's an excellent way to do it, and it's great if you're reselling them too. Right here, this is what you don't want. I'm kind of glad I did this so I can show you, but you can see that squeeze out. That also means that it's down in the bottom of the hole as well. Uh, yeah, so I just take carefully, without touching the threads, a small bit, drill that out, and I'll just work my bolts in until I can go all the way in and we're ready to go. Yeah, no problem, just keep moving. Uh, this is the part where we're making those holes a little bit bigger than the bolts. The bolts are a quarter inch or 20 mil, so we're just making them slightly larger. So there's a little bit of room when we go ahead and thread the furniture bolts into the inserts to lock these table legs into place. If you find that the bolts don't quite line up, then hey, take the drill bit, drill a little bit bigger hole. Just be careful that you don't uh, drill too big and your bolt slips right through. But things should work out. Uh, that blue thread lock, this is the time to use or not use it. I would recommend not using it straight away, 
Uh, just screw them in, see how long it lasts, see if it stays strong. If you find that your legs are getting loose, then go ahead and use that. It's okay because the bond that you created with your thread inserts is stronger than the bond with the blue thread lock. And hey, just like that, you got yourself a pretty nice table. Recessed metal legs. Thank you.